Hey guys, this is Paseco Mad here with another custom. This custom is a bit more of an experimental custom. I was trying out a new type of paint, so I didn't do a whole ton of work on him. Mostly just the paint job, and then I made him the sniper here. So I'll start by yeah taking out the sniper. There you go. So this is a one of my airborne troopers so I'll show you before and after here this is the original guy I got and you can see his main color scheme is orange so I got this new professional acrylic paint and I thought oh, so I'll change uh, the color scheme from one of these guys to red which I've done here the arm got this guy at the plate is just a Lego arm. I didn't paint that. I just took off the arm of the old guy, switched it with a red arm, and then it's all just this red color paint here. I'll show you the I'll show you the bottle. So it's this. Uh, yeah, let's zoom out a bit so you can see it a bit better. It's li liquid tech, um, liquid tech acrylic paint, and I'll. I will recommend this paint because it's uh, it's a thicker paint, but it's great for customization. He's got the simple camera just going along here, the little triangle cut in the bottom. That looks a little off-centered, but I think that's just how I put it on. So really, this is. Just a simple experiment to see how this new paint would work out. Uh, looks great. Okay, I'll move on to the sniper. Probably actually put in more time to the sniper than I put into this custom. So, see what you think. There. Okay. So this sniper, the base of it, is a clone rifle, right here, which I just cut off the top of the stock because I thought it looked and fit better into his arm a bit more. Now this is a simple dowel, Lego dowel piece that I sanded the sides a bit, so I'll see if I can angle it. You can see it's kind of a bit thinner. Kind of hard to see with all that glue around there. It's a bit thinner than the gun. And then it winds out at the front. Now I got the joystick pieces here, which I cut off the little round ends and glued them on. On the front here, this is a it's actual a, another a guns rifle. It's not Lego. Something else. But I cut that off and then glued that on. And the end piece is a bit of a fun piece because this here let's go that there you can see that. That's a that used to be part of a one of the clone flip fire pistols the flick piece on top. What I did is I cut the back off here and I just sliced the sides to make it thinner and it has the original triangle and then the little dot here. You can see that? So I painted the front of the scope um, yellow and then I'll get it to adjust you can see the kinda see that there. The front of the barrel is I also dotted red so you can kinda see that there so the I was going to make a moving bipod but it didn't work out because it would the glue I'm using isn't that strong so whenever I try to turn it it would just break off so I made these permanent but they're also a little more um, they're le it's less bulky than the moving one so again just kind of not not a super hard job it didn't work a ton on this custom, but fun little experiment with the new paints, and yeah, so I'll give you 360 now. You can really see how it looks. There we go. Right, let's zoom in a bit. There we go.
there you go. That's my newest custom, my Airborne Trooper. Hope you like. And, uh, yeah, comment. Tell me what you think about it. Yeah, the Sack of Mad signing off.